In this video, we want to discuss images and pre-images of subsets. So let's recall a couple of definitions first. If f is a function from a to b, and s is a subset of a, then the image of s under the function f is defined to be the set of all y in b such that there exists an x in s such that f of x is equal to y. Okay? So we denote it f of s, and it's a set of all y and b so that for some x in s, f of x is equal to y. If f is a function from a to b and t is a subset of b, then we can define the preimage of t. We define that as the set of all x in a so that f of x is in t. Okay, that's called the preimage of t under f. So the theory we would approve is the following. Let f be a function from a to b. Let S1 and S2 be subsets of A, and T1 and T2 be subsets of B. First, if S1 is a subset of S2, then the image of S1 is a subset of the image of S2. And second, if T1 is a subset of T2, then the preimage of T1 is a subset of the preimage of T2. So here's the proof. Part 1, let's suppose F is a function from A to B, and let's suppose S1 and S2 are subsets of A. Here we're going to prove that if S1 is a subset of S2, then the image of S1 is a subset of the image of S2. So suppose that S1 is a subset of S2, and let's suppose we have some y in the image of S1. Now since y is in the image of S1, that means there exists some x in S1, so that y is equal to f of x. But since S1 is a subset of S2, and x is in S1, we know x has to also be in S2. But then if x is in S2, then y, which is f of x, is an element of the image of S2. So we've shown that if y is an element of the image of S1, then y is an element of the image of S2. That is, the image of S1 is a subset of the image of S2. So that completes the proof of part one. Now we want to prove part two. Let's suppose that f is a function from a to b. Let's suppose t1 and t2 are subsets of b. Here we're going to prove that if t1 is a subset of t2, then the preimage of t1 is a subset of the preimage of t2. So suppose that t1 is a subset of t2, and suppose that x is an element of the preimage of t1. If x is an element of the preimage of t1, then f of x is an element of t1 by definition of the preimage. t1 is a subset of t2, so that implies that f of x is an element of t2. And of course, by definition of the preimage of t2, that directly implies that x is an element of the preimage of t2. So we've just proved that the preimage of t1 is a subset of the preimage of t2. And that completes this video. Thanks for watching.